How's it going everybody? It's JDM Drifter and for this week's video I'm going to be reviewing the Mega Constructs Hot Wheels Purple Passion. This is my first ever Mega Constructs set and the biggest set that I've reviewed here on my channel. The Purple Passion is one of my favorite classic Hot Wheels designed by Larry Wood. This is a super cool looking set. I've been wanting to get a hold of one of these Mega Constructs Hot Wheels for a while. So far it seems like the only store that's actually getting these sets are Target. Target sells these online and in store and these are about $50 a piece. So far, Mattel's only making four of these Mega Constructs Hot Wheel sets. They are doing the new Magic Ball, Roger Dodger, Purple Passion, Street Rotter, and the Bone Shaker. All of these are 50, other than the Bone Shaker is $70 since it's a little bit bigger scale and even comes with an exclusive diecast. So far out of all of these that they have made, Purple Passion seems to be my favorite and the only one I'll probably be getting. It's been a while since they've released any more of these, so I don't know if they're gonna be making any more of these sets. They don't seem to be too popular or get too many sales. Most people would probably still rather buy a $50 Lego set than one of these, but no matter what with one of these sets, you are getting more pieces and more detail than what a Lego set would be for $50. I'm not exactly sure how the quality is on Mega Constructs products since I've never really built one of their sets. The only Mega products I've ever built from Mattel were some of the Halo figures back when they were known as Mega Blocks. From what I know from those figures, they were really nice, detailed, and seemed to be good quality sets, so hopefully this is the same. It doesn't appear that too many people have reviewed or even gotten any of these from what I can find online, so this will definitely be a pretty cool set to build and check out. Due to the size of the set and how many parts that this set has, I will be building the car entirely off camera but then showing it complete at the end. But before I build this set and review it, let's go ahead and check out the box. Since this set has such a big box, it's kind of hard to get it here on camera, but here on the top it does show the Mega Blocks logo and that this is one of their Hot Wheels building sets. Down here in the corner, it does say that this set has 671 pieces and is for ages 10 and up. A Lego with this many parts would probably be over $100. Here it says that this is the Purple Passion, and as you can see, here is the front view of the car. And here on the back of the box, this is supposedly an actual size picture of the Purple Passion. So you can see the car won't be insanely big. I thought it would be a little bit bigger than what this would be here, but we'll have to see after I build it. Down here, it does show some pictures of some of the cool features that this car has. It does have a removable roof, so you can have this as a convertible or look at the interior. It also has an opening hood with a detailed engine, a detailed interior, and a trunk with some detailed speakers. And it says down here that this is a Mattel product. That is why Mega Constructs here is starting to do some Hot Wheels style sets, since they are a Mattel brand. Back when they were even called Mega Blocks, they used to do some smaller scale cars based off Hot Wheels as well. I've never really gotten any Mega Bloks sets in the past since they've never really had anything too interesting and I used to just get Legos. So let's go ahead and open up the box and see what some of the parts look like inside. Okay, so here's the box now opened up. So you can see it has this kind of fold open style box. This isn't something I've seen with many other brands. And as you can see here, are all the bags of the parts inside. Since this car does have a lot of parts, surprisingly the bags are actually numbered, which is something you do not see usually unless it's a real Lego brand set. You can definitely tell these bricks do look cheaper quality. The colors of these bricks seem to be way different and cheaper looking than other brands like Lego or Kobe. You can kind of see some swirls and stuff in the plastic, just kind of like the plastic is on an actual Hot Wheel. But it does appear that all the designs on this car are actually printed with no stickers, which is pretty surprising. A lot of other brands more expensive than even Mega Blocks have stickers. Even a lot of expensive Lego sets have stickers instead of printed parts. That is kind of surprising. But due to how many parts the set has, I will not be able to open up the bags or show some of the cool parts here on camera. So I'll just have to try to show every part that I noticed interesting once it's built. But here is the instruction manual that you get with the car. You only get one instruction manual and it is a really big manual compared to what most Lego sets would have. It has here on the front and back similar pictures to what they show on the box. So you can see here it does come with a Mega Block style ripoff of the Lego brick separator. Definitely a strange design even with Technic pens on it which is pretty cool. Most other Lego style brands that make brick separators are copies of Legos. This is something totally different. As well as these instructions do kind of seem more premium and actually nicer looking than some other brands, including Lego. These instructions are in color and do tell you the number and color of every part you need. And it actually kind of looks more premium. It also does show here in the corner what bags you need to be opening or using for each step. And unlike some other brands, you actually do get a list and color of every single part that's included in this set, including the printed parts and the colors. 
Also, here's some information about Larry Wood and some of the cars that he's designed, and there's a picture here of Larry Wood himself. That's another one of the main reasons why I got this set, since Larry Wood is one of the most well-known and best Hot Wheels designers of all time. So now I'm going to go ahead and build this set, and I will do a full review of it once it's finished. Okay, so here's the Purple Passion, now fully built. This definitely came out to be a pretty cool-looking model, and actually was the actual size that they showed on the box. It seems like it's a little bigger in person than what it actually does look like on the box, but either way, it's actually a pretty nice size for what it is. Still not totally sure if this set really was worth $50 or not, but if you really would still compare this to a Lego set, you're still getting a better value. This set had no missing parts and everything seemed to fit together pretty well. The plastic definitely was different and cheaper feeling than a Lego with a lot more unique parts. I don't know if I still would get any more of these in the future, but if they did keep coming out with some pretty cool models, I definitely think these would be worth it. So far, all four that they've made have only been Larry Wood designs, so I'm not sure if they'll end up doing something different in the future. So now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the details that this model has. First up here, as you can see, this is something very different than what I've had with any other brands I've built. This car is actually molded in a metallic purple plastic. I've not noticed this on any other knockoffs or Lego style sets. This seems like something that's exclusive to Mega Construct sets. I definitely like that, and it gives it a way more realistic look. This car in person is a pretty dark purple. Here on camera, it seems to kind of show up as a lighter purplish blue, but this is definitely a really nice looking purple color, and the metallic definitely makes it more realistic. All of the decals on this car were actually printed. There were no stickers included with this set at all. Even expensive companies like Lego and even the Airfix kits did have stickers included with them. Even the LEGO Technic Bugatti Chiron for $300 even had stickers with it as well, when this set here for $50 can have fully printed parts. As you can see here, the stripes on the sides are in a metallic green and a lime green, and is made up of four pieces that are all printed. This car does have the wheels covered up by some fender skirts here, and even has on both sides a light purple printed Hot Wheel logo. Also, these two lime green pieces are not printed here. These are just bricks. This is printed, and this piece is printed right here. And as you can see, it is the same here on the other side. Also here on the hood, there are six different printed parts making up this design. And here on the back, it does have a California license plate that was from May of 1989 that says 40 wood. This does have really nice thick rubber tires, which came already assembled onto these five spoke rims. These five spoke rims are also molded in a metallic grayish plastic, which a lot of the parts are also made up of, including the bumper, grill, and even the side skirts here. It also did have the white walls pre-printed onto the tires, which look really nice. This car also has a really smooth, soft ride, a lot smoother of a roll than what most other brand brick sets have had. There's a lot of exclusive style parts to these sets as well, like these headlights here and this grill. Even the wheels are all Mega Constructs exclusive parts. This car does have no windows to it at all, I'm guessing because of the chopped style roof. But the chopped roof definitely gives this car a way more unique hot rod style look. I like even this exclusive molded piece here they have for the front windshield and side windows. The only thing I do not really like about this here with the roof is how this piece here is not tiled. I wish this would have been tiled down so it would have looked way smoother. Because that's one thing I really like about the appearance of this car that some Legos and other brand sets don't have is the entirely smooth tiled look. Here on the chassis of the car it is mainly just purple but here in the middle there is light gray, dark gray, and even some of the tan here from the interior. Still not nearly as bad as what a real Lego chassis would look like with tons of different colors like red, blue, and even green. Everything seemed to have way more firm of a fit than what most other brands have, so it does seem like this will be pretty sturdy and stay together well. None of the parts on this really seem to be loose or anything. I would say this model is a little bit bigger than 118 scale. I'd say this is more around a 116th scale model. This car has no opening doors, but it does have a opening trunk and hood, as well as a removable roof. First up here, let's go ahead and open up the hood. It has a really unique hinge feature that is different than what most other brands have, and it even comes forward like this as well, so you can have the hood open up pretty far. The only other thing, other than the tiles not being behind the back window that I'm disappointed with about this car, is it does have red and blue bricks here underneath the hood. I'm not sure why they did that at all. It seems very strange when the rest of the car is actually just normal colors. But this car does have a built-in hood prop, so you can hold the hood up and you don't really see that as much. But still from a certain angles, you can still see them colors. Maybe what I'll end up doing is end up swapping these out with some actual Lego gray plates and cover that up. But this car does have a very nicely detailed motor, being for the size of this car. So you can see there's a lot more unique parts that's exclusive to Mega Constructs for this motor. And the hood prop actually does work and hold the hood up, so that definitely makes it nice for display and more realistic. 
Here it also in the back does have an opening trunk. This trunk does not open up nearly as much as what the hood does, but it also still does have this prop here to hold it up. In the trunk here, as you can see, the hinge as well as some tan and gold bricks with some venting and speakers. This car does have some transparent red curved tiles here on the back for the taillights as well. And the last feature that this car does have is a removable roof so you can see the detailed interior. The roof is kind of hard to remove, but once it does come off, it comes off in one nice solid piece. As they show on the box, if you really wanted to, you could remove these pillars back here and have a full convertible. I though prefer it with the roof, but at least with the roof off, you get to look at this detailed interior. For the interior, I have a tannish color floor pan so you can see through to the bottom of the chassis, as well as it has a brownish and a light tan color for the seats. The middle of these seats have a textured brick that is definitely different than what Lego would have and gives it a really nice classic look. The front seat here is adjustable and can move forward and back. The back seat here is not adjustable, but in front of it, you do have two gold cup holders. This car also has a metallic silver shift knob that is adjustable and is definitely an exclusive piece, as well as a printed tile there for the radio. This car also has an open glove box here, some speakers and vents on both sides. This car has a tri-spoke steering wheel that's on a ball joint, so it is adjustable and actually does spin. And behind the steering wheel is actually a round cut in half tile that actually does have the printed gauges on it. And the roof goes on very nice and stays in place very well. The only thing is there is nothing mounted to the front windshield here to keep it down in case you did want to make it look like a convertible. But at least it's easy to remove and the back does hold it down pretty firm. So this is definitely a really nice, pretty cool detailed model. Just a few little things I think could be improved, but for not being a Lego set and for not being a true knockoff, this set has a lot of nice details. I love the printed parts. The wheels look really good. It rolls nice, has opening features, and it's definitely a cool piece. I like the metallic molded plastic, even though this plastic's a little bit cheaper. I think it does give it away a nicer look. This was definitely my favorite set. I love vintage Mercury's and Chop Top Hot Rods like this, and this was designed by Larry Wood, which is one of the best and my favorite Hot Wheel designer of all time. I actually have a normal Hot Wheel diecast Purple Passion, actually autographed by Larry Wood. This Mega Constructs Purple Passion was based off the first ever release of the Hot Wheels Purple Passion, which came out in 1990. I can put a picture up on the screen of what that one looks like. Unfortunately, I do not have that variation in my collection. If I did, I would have compared it to this. The real Purple Passion Hot Wheel was based off of a 1949 Mercury. Purple Passion never was a licensed die cast since they never did actually call it a Mercury, but it's obvious that's what it's based off of. So for being a Mega Block set, it's definitely not that bad. After Mattel bought Mega Blocks, they definitely improved them from what they were previously. Mega Blocks is actually a Canadian brick company that was founded in 1967. Mattel bought Mega Blocks in 2014, and in 2017, they changed the name and logo to Mega Constructs. I still refer to these as Mega Blocks since that's what I've known it as before, but they have a couple years ago changed the name to Mega Constructs now that Mattel bought them. So overall, definitely a really nice looking set. I would definitely recommend these. They have them on Target.com and in store if you can find them. So I think that is about all for this video. If you enjoyed the video, please comment, like, and subscribe. If you haven't already, please check out my other most recent video on the Jada Fast and Furious Dodge Charger. And if you're not already, please follow my Instagram. It is it's JDM Drifter. I will put it in the description as well. I will be doing weekly videos for the next couple weeks still, so be looking forward for that. And again, please comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.